Hi there, just a very quick video just to um, help you explore the Moorland Classroom Educational Resource here at Exmoor National Park. Um, easiest way probably to find the resource if you're not um, already there is just to put Moorland Classroom straight into Google. That should then come up um, with a series of links. If you click on the top one, that will take you straight into the Moorland Classroom. You'll see the um, resource sits within the Exmoor National Park website. So you can also go in through the main Exmoor National Park website, in which case you need to go along the top here to the learning section, and then second one down, Moreland Classroom will, will get you to the same place. Okay, um, so the first page you'll see will give you a little bit of introduction about um, the Moreland Classroom. There's also a video here, and you'll find videos throughout the, um, the web resource. You may need to download some plugins um, so you can watch them. Um, but you should get instructions from your browser depending on whether you're using Internet Explorer or Chrome, etc. Um, when you click on that, to give you an introductory video, which you won't look at now, but um, do explore those videos. You'll then see we've got a series of four links on the right-hand side about the Moreland Classroom, tell you a little bit about the project, the partners involved in the funding, the how to use this resource, the bit we're looking at now, key bit you need, is the explore sites because that's how you'll actually get into the sites and get into the resources and then please do click on the feedback um, once you've used the resource to let us know so we can help to improve it okay so I'm just going to click on explore sites just here it'll take you to a, a page here we've got a map we've also got a bit of text and some um, text links to available sites so this will actually show you the places on Exmoor where we've got the educational resources um, I can either click straight through on these or I can explore this map and it's an interactive map so you can zoom in, get a variety of different layers. And you'll see these purple boxes all represent sites. So I'm just going to click in this case onto the one Dunkery Beacon here. Tell me a little bit about Dunkery Beacon. I'm going to think okay, I want to explore that site. So I'm going to click for material, take me straight through to the Dunkery Beacon site page. On this page there's information about the site. Um, about the different themes and topics that are covered. There's another video, which I won't play now, which will tell you about the site and introduce you to it. There's information about the facilities, toilets, parking. Um, two key links to actually get the learning inquiry and the associated resources. And for each site, there's a um, number of other things you can explore, 3D maps, galleries, um, downloadable and interactive maps, and also some safety guidance to cover all the sites to help you with your risk assessments. So I'm just going to click on now. I want to download the learning inquiry for Dunkery. The top one is a Word document. You see it's just downloading in the left here. Um, so I click on that. You'll see it's opened up. Learning inquiry is a Word format. Minimize that down again. And then the associated resources, which are a zip file. So I click on those. Depending on the speed of your connection, um, that's going to take me about sort of 20, 25 seconds on a fairly standard wireless connection. That will then have all the associated resources, which as soon as it, it comes in, I can open. And then you can save those on your local machine so you're not dependent on permanent internet connection to explore uh, the resources and the associated learning inquiry. And they'll be on your machine. So I just double click that. There we are, Dunkery Resources in a folder, so that's saved. And there you've got all the associated resources in the form of Word documents, PowerPoints, and PDFs. And that's pretty much all there is to exploring the Moreland Classroom. But uh, if you do have any problems, do follow the links, um, get in touch with us here at the National Park, and we'll help you all we can.